the four common appearances black and white biracials have. I'm gonna talk about it. Let's get it, let's go. This is the most common appearance between biracials that are half black and half white, the light skin black appearance, okay? These biracial people are black and white, but they look mostly black, like mainly light skin black people, brown skin black people. Even black people would have this appearance being 100% African. Most of the time, the black parent is on the darker side, but sometimes they could be on the lighter side or brown side too, just they have really strong African genes. Two, this is the most common appearance between black and white biracial people, okay? The mixed look, they look like both, okay? They look black and white. Some days, depending on the hair, they look white. Some days, depending on how they have their hair, they look black. With one angle, they look black. With one angle, they look white. And you know right off the bat by seeing them most of the time, they're mixed, okay? They have a combination of black and white physical features. And usually when they have this appearance, they usually call themselves mixed or they have a hard time fitting in with both groups. Sometimes if the area is not very diverse because they have the appearance of both people. So sometimes it's hard for them to know where they're going to fit in. If the area they live in is not very integrated and very multicultural. This appearance happens between black and white couples with a baby probably by, I'll say, 32% of the time. It's the most common look, the second most common look. And the third most common look between black and white biracial people is the ambiguous look, okay? This look will happen probably about 20% some of the time, okay? Usually when they have this appearance, the black side is not purely black or don't have a lot, a lot of black, but sometimes they can have a lot of black in them and still have this ambiguous appearance because sometimes the European genes are strong too. We don't have the strongest genes all the time. Sometimes they meet halfway and sometimes you don't know the appearance. Usually when they have this appearance though, they usually, on the white side, they usually have like Southern European descent, like from Italy, Spain, or they might be mixed with white Hispanics, something like that. And the fourth appearance mixed people have that biracial with black and white is the more white passive look, okay? They look more on the white side of the family. Usually when they have this appearance, they're usually mostly white. If you check their DNA, it'll be 60 to 70% European, but sometimes it could be in the 50s or 40s as well. Usually when they have this appearance, the black side was a little lighter on average or the black side might have been mixed. And when they have this appearance, usually they could fit in white places very easy and people don't believe they're mixed until they see their black parent or another black family member. 